Hi guys, welcome back to The Whiskey Room. I'm Brian Sakawa here as always with Chris Sarangoulis and today we are tasting Clyde Mays Alabama style whiskey. Who is Clyde May? Well, Clyde May is actually a World War II veteran and he returned home from the war with a Purple Heart and a Medal of Bauer. Very accomplished man. But he immediately began distilling his illegal moonshine and eventually ended up in the federal penitentiary for eight months. But that didn't stop old Clyde. He kept on rolling with his distilling and he had a unique flavoring, green apple and cinnamon. Interesting thing about the uh, Clyde Mays whiskey is it's actually the state beverage of Alabama. And we did some research and actually uh, of all of the states, Alabama is the only state with an alcohol or a whiskey as a state beverage. More than 50% of the states have milk as their official state beverage. And this is something that's actually signed into law by the state legislature. So pretty interesting stuff. Very yeah. interesting guy. Party on, Alabama. The first thing that I noticed right off the bat and that they list on the bottle actually is uh, the presence of green apple, which you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very, if you're used to smelling whiskeys and you have a nose for it, the green apple is extremely present. The thing is, when you taste this whiskey though, the green apple is not overwhelming. It's a very subtle taste, and I think that has a lot to do with the high rye content of the mash bill. That is right. Now this whiskey in particular, we're talking an 85 proof whiskey, so so it's not too high of a proof, it's very approachable, and the rye content is 30%. Now what that does is that nicely balances out the green apple and cinnamon finish, and it don't confuse this with a liqueur or something really sweet. It's very subtle, it's very well done. Now Chris, we also thought this whiskey would be very good as a mixer for cocktails. I personally think it would be very good uh, in a whiskey sour, also uh, mint julep mint julep with a Kentucky Derby coming up, and also you might want to try this in a Manhattan as well. Mm -hmm. And as they like to say when you toast with Clyde Mays, roll Clyde. Roll Clyde. So that's the Clyde Mays Alabama style whiskey. Thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and check us out online at hespokestyle.com. We'll see you next time. I didn't like what I said about it. I thought it was fine. <laughs> now do your thing. You wanna say something like, what well, can you tell me about? No. Can you say, um,